get, 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 get. Hey man, give me the orc so I can play 21 pilots. Come on, man. I'm tired of hearing this shit that sounds like pants falling over. First of all, this is the where my history started with 100 gigs. I was making a video about r slash sad boys. I saw the album cover of a thousand gigs and I went Jesus and uh, a dude and the girl standing in front of a massive bush. Hey man, this dude, this is the kind of gigs like that, bro. Finished. So one day I was not feeling all well. I decided to give them a try uh, with the money machine. And oh boy, oh this this shit goes hard, man. Most people think of it as hey, it's dog shit, but it's good. Now I think it's good, good. You know, they they have a very different vibe. As soon as I listen to Money Machine like three times, I listened to the whole album of a thousand gigs and really really liked it. The only thing I don't like about 100 gigs is the bullshit that they make my ears go through it's like money machine a good song good song and then at the end it's just fucking why are you torturing my balls man <laughs> but anyways i still like the album very much so then i texted my friend do you listen to 100 gigs and he replied with what the fuck's wrong with you and you know it was pretty funny he told me it was very bad and i'm like are you joking man this shit made fire he just went Ooh, i almost punched you 100 gigs is an American musical duo consisting of Dylan Brady and Laura Less. The two grew up in suburban St. Louis and were involved in the city's electronic music scene. St. Louis is a popular future song, catching attitude, I'ma go and fuck your friend now. As far as I have gathered, they're in a relationship with each other because 100 gigs close out the album, 1000 gigs with an anthem about their relationship. That's what it says on Genius and hey man, I guess they're fucking. So I'm gonna go in depth to some tracks and we're starting off with money machine the track starts off with Laura kind of shit talking but kind of singing along Hey, you real piss, baby. You think you're so fucking cool, huh? You think you're so fucking tough? You talk a lot of big game for someone with such a small truck. Oh, look at those arms. Your arms look so fucking cute. They look like little cigarettes. I bet I could smoke you. I could roast you. And then you'd love it. you text me I love you. And then I'd fucking ghost you. Oof. Man, I really like Laura's voice. Her voice is amazing. It's very clearly pitched up because she sounds like Elvin and the Chipmunks. So both her and Dylan Brady's voices are pitched up and auto-tuned and also distorted. It sounds like, you know, those professional businessmen, if they got hooked on crack. And they're still very, very good at their jobs, but they're also fucking crackheads, you know? The intro, the chorus, and the post-chorus is all Laura's. And then Dylan Brady comes in with the verse, which is really good. I don't know, man. This song is a masterpiece if it wasn't for that piece of shit. Oh my god. The next song is named 800 Decibel Cloud. And I just want you to guess. <laughs> I just want you to guess why it's named 800 Decibel Cloud. You know why 800 Decibel Cloud is called 800 Decibel Cloud? Because it fucking bursts your ears after the calm intro. It starts off like this. He said, I love you on the plane. I said, I love you too. He said, everything's different now. Everything has changed. Always on the plane, always something new I said nothing's new, nothing This shit sounds like MC Wright fucking the dude from Pulp Fiction, man The next song is called XXXI Would Never Stop UXXX. This one actually is one of my favorite songs on this album because at the start it gives off these pop punk mid 2000s vibes. But then, you know, they just have to go through with, you know, shitting on your eardrum. <laughs> Still very good though. Um, I really love the melody and I really love Lara's voice. I also really love the lyrics in this song. Giving my heart for you today. We can go and try to leave this place. Getting my strength from your embrace. Baby, let's go all the way. 
I mean, obviously, this is nothing compared to my hit song, uh, Cloud9 Sneaky, I'm trying to smash, full song, but you know, 100 gigs is up there. The next song is Gek 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 Gek. The beat here at the start sounds like a schizophrenic baby, and basically the whole song sounds like that, but when it gets to the I'm not stronger than, stronger than you part, it's like this very melodic, very Disney type of feeling that almost makes you forget that in the previous song, you got your ears fucked. To be honest, their lyrics are fucking amazing. I haven't felt this happy about song lyrics since I heard Future say, Throw the way up cool, but she didn't wanna leave. Feel like garbage, my heart was on my sleeve. To the child's better with your company at least. Why should I have love for her? Can get it out the creek. The production on this album is insane, absolutely insane. You, you very rarely get to see production as high of a quality as this and as good as this, even though it's ear rape sometimes. But like the moments when it's not ear rape, it just sounds so fucking good, man. Like at the start of 800 decibels, it's very relaxing, very good, very atmospheric. By the way, do you want to know how they produce with each other? Basically, the duo se works on tracks by sending Logic Pro project files between between the two and iterating the songs each time. And I'm gonna read this straight from uh, their Wikipedia page. Their music has been called an anarchic assault on the ears that pulls conventional pop tropes in every direction possible, as well as abrasive maximalist pop, with elements of pop punk, nightcore, ska, dubstep, deconstructed club, trance, metal and happy hardcore all thrown into one big cum dumps. Oh no no no, one big internet blender, resulting in songs that shift gears dozens of of times. You remember 800 decibels? Yeah, that's what this is about. Okay, so Laura and Brady met at a house party in 2012 and eventually dropped their first EP, 100 Gags, in July 2016. And they wanted to record more music, but they were unable to find enough time until they performed a DJ set together for the 2019 Minecraft Fire Festival. So, just fucking amazing amazing in september 2019 100 gex announced that they would support brockhampton on their heaven belongs to you tour later that year so brockhampton also a very good band but hey you know the saturation ones were pretty good also speaking of sad boys they're as one of my commenters said they're big fans of blade and i can definitely see that in them because of their auto tune use discovering shit like this is why i keep listening to songs with low views now you're not gonna catch me listening to things with 300 views and being proud of it because of that energy made this one just shot at a black man and took his shoes customized my ar like a black ops 2 just scammed a white kid out of some gorilla glue i don't want to fuck this bitch she smell like poo poo the tabernacle what's the beast to a dinosaur nigga pterodactyl mixed with a t-rex T-Rectodactyl. But discovering 100 Gex was really good because it's a breath of fresh air, you know? Like every fucking trap song sounds the same. Walk it, like it, like it, talk it. Walk it, walk it, like I talk it. It's always made by Metro Boomin, man. I'm tired, man. Like even the new Lil Uzi Vert album, Eternal Take. I liked some parts of it, but it just sounds the same. Even Future's new album, even though I love Future, a lot of trap music sounds the same now. So Dylan Brady and Laura, you're doing a great job of not making me burn out on music because as soon as that ear rape part comes in on money machine it bursts my eardrums and i restart the song so you're doing a great job of not keeping me bored so do everyone a favor if you like the music that i showed you here go and support 100 gigs stream their songs if you have the money buy their album and yeah if they could get support from you that would be amazing so yeah that's about it thanks a lot for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed and goodbye Do I like 100 gex? Flip, yeah! Feels so clean like a money machine, yeah! How can you not? Might say it judges me though, not gonna lie. I would love to play the music, but uh, that's copyright shit. I'm playing Poga because he doesn't claim stuff, which I appreciate. And it's nice background music.